So this this consciousness appeared on the earth six thousand years ago. One hundred and twenty jubilees ago, right? How do you know? Well, because uh, we uh, we just follow the structure that we are given in the scripture to follow. Uh, and what we do is just simply obey the scriptures where it tells us to begin this counting and through the agency of the prophets we have been giving these numbers to calculate with and as we be begin to calculate with these numbers it takes us back 120 jubilees and even when we look in the secular books of the historians we see that we are now in that time of the emerging of historical consciousness. This, we are now entering into the historical age, the end of the age of Atlantis, where that civilization that existed in the West prior to the time of Adam, and Adam was an Atlantean. And that age came to its conclusion in the wars of Atlantis, legends of which are preserved in the Timaeus and all of the legends of Atlantis that Plato gleaned out of the teachings of Egypt, but we see them, we see those legends are everywhere in the, in the um, oral traditions of indigenous American peoples. All throughout the earth we have the, uh, the echoes of the legends of those times reverberating in our consciousness, and that's why Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. It wasn't a geological event that overflowed the earth in those days. It was a flood of war. And that's why the book of Revelation says, And the waters which thou sawest are multitudes and nations and tongues and people. So as God brought the Atlantean age to its conclusion in those times, we now see that God has duplicated the events in the attempt of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, modern Atlanteans, to rule the world again. And that's why it says, as it was in those days, so shall it be in, the day, in our days.